Let's talk about PVA, water-soluble support material. It's amazing stuff, no doubt. It lets you do things that you just couldn't do with 3D printers otherwise. Take, for example, a more complex object like this. Now, this has a number of different layers or different geometries within one another that are intended to move freely and be able to spin around. And that's a very tricky thing to print. Uh, there's, there's really no good way of doing this with traditional supports. You could print it, but you'd never be able to get all the supports out of these uh, little spaces in between the different layers without breaking the object itself. That's where PVA comes in. Now, you can print this part using the PVA water soluble support material, and it comes out looking something like this, encased in support. Well, now you got to get rid of that PVA, right? Now, the old way is to drop this in a bowl of warm water and let it sit, usually overnight, and then you'll find that it still has a bunch of support material left hanging on that you need to sort of wash under a faucet and rub away at, and eventually you'll get rid of all that support material and you'll be left with a clean object. But recently Ultimaker launched a new accessory called the Ultimaker PVA Removal Station, and it really makes the process a lot easier. Instead of having to worry about tending to your print as those supports are dissolving and constantly turning it and keeping the water warm and refreshing it and rinsing it under a faucet, you just drop it into this thing and turn it on and walk away. Hours later you come back and you'll find a clean object ready to go. So I went ahead and printed two of these exactly the same way. Both of them are fully encased in PVA supports. And we're going to take a look at the difference, dissolving them in a plain old bowl of warm tap water and using the PVA removal station. The PVA removal station can be used with Ultimaker brand PVA or other third-party PVA materials. You just add water, there's no chemicals, no mess to worry about. This unit is designed to remove PVA up to four times faster than just standard motionless water, even from harder to reach cavities like we have in this print here. The cage keeps your object fully submerged because otherwise objects have a tendency to float and might not be fully underwater and that could prevent supports from dissolving properly. So it really is as simple as putting your object in here, turning on the power and walking away. The amount of time that it takes for supports to dissolve will depend on the object and how much PVA is used and how embedded it is within different parts of the internal cavities. Usually you're talking about a matter of hours. Might be a couple of hours for a simpler print, might be overnight for something like this that has a lot of support in internal cavities that take more time to get to. So after about six hours sitting in the water here, you can see this one that just sat in motionless water didn't do so well. It needs quite a lot more time to get rid of all that PVA material that's gooped up in there. The PVA removal station, however, did an excellent job. Because of the movement of that water, this part came out nice and clean. Here we have it. No further cleanup, no post-processing was done on this, and there are no PVA remnants left. There's no residue or anything. It is perfectly clean. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.